Welcome back to Alec TV, coming to you from the third day of the States and Nation Policy Summit in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm joined now by my good friend Grant Kidwell, who is the director of the Energy, Environment, and Agriculture Task Force here at Alec. How's it going, Grant? Happy to be here. We've been having an exciting few days. Uh, this past week, we got started uh, for the Energy, Environment, and Ag Task Force by uh, doing a nuclear power plant tour. We got to go see the Palo Verde uh, nuclear power plant, which is the uh, actually the largest power plant in the country and top five in the world. And it was a, a great opportunity for lawmakers to come uh, learn about the benefits of nuclear power. It's a uh, clean source of energy, low em no emissions. Uh, and one of the unique things there is they actually reuse all recycled water from local towns and cities in the area, which is a very uh, unique uh, for nuclear power plants. Wow. So what kind of stuff did you learn about when you guys went there? Sure. So just um, just uh, the, all the homes they power in the area, they power over uh, 4 million homes in California, Nevada, Arizona, uh, so it, it, all the surrounding states. Uh, got to see how the, the plant operates, the different employees. They have, I believe, between 2,500 and 3,000 uh, employees that uh, work at the plant. And so it's great to see uh, just the economic development it provides for the region as well as electricity. Absolutely. So this isn't the first tour you guys have done this year. No, no, we've done uh, we've done several. So we always like to uh, have hands-on experience at our meetings for our, for the lawmakers. So we did a natural gas power plant tour uh, earlier this year in Austin, Texas, and then we did a uh, wind energy tour back in October. So we like to get um, the lawmakers to have an experience from all different types of energy, whether it be uh, renewables, wind and solar, oil and gas, coal, uh, nuclear, and so it's been great to have uh, just the entire energy uh, industry represented here at Alec. Absolutely, that must be really cool for your members. Um, so, back to your members and the task force in general, what are you guys working on here? Sure, so we've had uh, great conversations. We uh, uh, got started talking about environmental issues on Wednesday, had a speaker come out and talk about the Trump administration and uh, what, what the administration's been doing at the EPA and how they uh, have been working to uh, protect environmental quality but also do regulatory reform to balance uh, environmental quality with, uh, with the economy. And so it's great to see that uh, message of economic prosperity and environmental protections. Uh, then our energy subcommittee, we're uh, talking about uh, different um, uh, tax programs might be coming in the states. There's a program called the uh, Transportation and Climate Initiative, which would uh, function as, a, as a, a new type of gas tax. And so just alerting lawmakers uh, to that. Cool. So in terms of, you, you talked about something kind of coming down the pike. Uh, in terms of policy prioritization, what are you guys looking at for 2020? What are the big issues that you think are going to come your way on the energy, environment, and agriculture fronts? Sure. So one of the other things we actually talked about in our task force meeting was just energy bans. So we had a speaker come from uh, California to talk about how uh, a lot of municipalities are saying we want to ban all new natural gas infrastructure, uh, which here at Alec, you know, we're, we're fine for all different sources of energy and think it's crazy to see uh, one source targeted, especially for natural gas, uh, which in the United States has uh, provided a, a very uh, low emission form of, uh, of electricity, especially when comparing it to coal or other sources. Uh, and getting rid of consumer choice that if you want to have a gas stove versus an electric uh, is crazy. And so you know, here at Alec, we want to see uh, consumers uh, have choices for energy solutions. So you know, energy bans, like the natural gas bans in California, happening in a lot of cities, also on the East Coast. We also talked about uh, fracking bans as well. Uh, New Mexico uh, proposed to ban uh, all fracking last year and the economic impact that would have on the state. Uh, I think it was about a third of the state's uh, revenue comes just from the oil and gas industry alone. Um, and, and so seeing that uh, down the pipe as well. Then on ag issues, we talked a lot about uh, water quality. Uh, you know, being here in, in Arizona, it's, it's always a perennial issue about Absolutely. how do you deal with water rights as well. Uh, so we got, we got a good range of topics. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, so more, I kind of want to dig in the agriculture front because sometimes that really doesn't get a, a lot of press. Everyone wants to mm -hmm. focus on big energy and all that kind of stuff. Um, there is a really cool debate you had actually last meeting. It was about defining beef. <laughs> that seems like a really cool nuance issue that I kind of wanted to dig in a little more. What is, what's the whole point of that? Sure. So there's been, um, and this is actually an issue that will be coming up again in 2020. Um, so there's a, a push, you know, with uh, alternative sources of uh, whether or not you call it meat or not, you know, like the Impossible Burger and other things. These are uh, plant-based uh, products. Uh, that in some cases, you know, that they try to call them burgers, they try to call them meats. And so you're seeing kind of some contentions with uh, ranching and cattle groups saying, you know, meat should be defined from an animal product. 
uh, whereas um, the uh, plant-based products are, are trying to define it as meat. So we had a debate uh, in Austin and actually had a lawmaker um, who introduced a bill uh, that would have defined meat as only being from an animal. Uh, and one of the things he mentioned, though, however, is just the impact that it could have on grocers. You know, we don't right. want to punish uh, a grocery store or restrict free speech by saying, here's what government says for this. Now, obviously, you know, most consumers, I think, we know the difference between an impossible burger or, or the impossible Wh Whopper at Burger King and a regular Whopper at Burger King, right? right? Um, so just doing an education to say, hey, you know, we don't necessarily want government compelled uh, speech on a, on a specific issue, but also recognizing the concerns of the agricultural industry uh, where there is, you know, consumer definitions so that, you know, if, if you're buying a, a, a meat product, you actually know it's a burger. So happy to have that, but we prefer voluntary measures uh, versus government. Absolutely. You guys really cover a wide range of topics over there at EEA. Yeah. Hey, Grant, I want to thank you for joining us today. It seems like you guys are doing some really cool stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what comes on the pike for you guys in 2020. Yeah, and if I could just say two more things. We oh, had yeah, uh, right. two great speakers. We had um, Deputy Secretary Dan Simmons from the Department of Energy. He is in charge of um, the Office of Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency, so it's great to have him uh, come and, and talk about uh, what he's doing at that agency. He's also a former ALEC uh, staff member uh, from really? the uh, early, uh, early 2000s, so it's great wow. to see uh, all organizations, uh, uh, staff and alumni from lawmakers to also staff just go on uh, to influence public policy. We also had the uh, former Speaker of the House of Arizona and current Ag Commissioner uh, Mark Killian speak to the task force and he uh, had a great message of talking about uh, just the importance of agriculture uh, to uh, uh, our nation's security. You know, if we don't have if we don't have food, uh, if you're fighting over bread lines, uh, they, they soon turns into worse uh, conflicts. It gets bad fast. So yeah. we've had we've had a great range of speakers for this past week. Uh, had all different types of uh, energy companies represented here at Alec, uh, and also the ag industry as well. And just wanted to uh, uh, share that with uh, with our audience. Awesome. Well, thank you, Grant. Keep up the good fight.